Hi friends, welcome to testing tutor respond. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to select a value from drop down in a robotic framework. How many ways we can able to do for selecting for this drop down values means by using visible text and by using value and by using indexed position for that particular one. Okay, these are ways we can able to use and we can able to select for drop down value and how we can able to achieve our robotic framework. In this case, I'm going to creating for TC0 for dot robot. And here is uh, my cases are uh, Okay, this uh, one and after that I'm going to deleting this all the things so it's not required necessary and the same which I used for world one uh, my previous one I used for demo dot automation testing dot I the registration page and here is the drop down is the skill set. Okay, out of InDesign, Photoshop, Analyze, Standard, IPA and Art Design. This all the drop down values are present. How we can able to select these values using our robotic framework now in the simple example i'm going to use this one and i need to use first inspecting this location okay and after that we need to expand here that is id is the selecting one which is the path of the value id equal to skills okay now here i need to use for one simple one first i need to use for sim sleep with this two seconds and then first we need to use visible text visible text means which is we are able to see that there is a out of value this is the one value i need to select first visible text is this one is the visible text how we can able to use means select from list by label select by label yeah. label is basically a visible text if you see in the selenium with the java or shisha we can able to see select by visible text right that is a method we can able to say the same format in the robotic is a select from list by label list is nothing but this is having complete list of values okay this test box is basically having the drop down is basically having a list of values that is that's why they make it as simple understandable for select for list by label and id cola and a value okay then Visible text means I'm going to use Adobe Photoshop is the one value we are going to select. Then once I selected, I need to use for some split thread. And again, I need to use for select from list by value ID and this name okay value is nothing but each select drop down place inside that there are couple of options are presented each option having some value on some members maybe they will provide they are not provided in my case there are provided some value to that option I chosen here is out of is a visible text. Now I'm going to use some Android is the value. Okay, Android is my value. Now I'm going to use for Android.
and now again I'm going to use for sleep two seconds and again I'm going to use for select by index same I'm going to copying this particular X locator and I'm going to use for right now I choose all the things right now I'm going to use for this particular Adobe design then I'm going to use for every list value start from 0 1 2 3 then I am going to use for 0th position is select key sets and again I need to select for first one then I need to use for index position is 1 okay then again I am using for some sleep thread and 2 seconds then after that I need to close for my browser now I am using for here can able to go here for fourth one now we used for select by label and select by value and select by index position these are the three options we used into our code it is maximized now Adobe Photoshop is ready and on that now again Adobe InDesign three option is selected and it is closed our case is pass it went very fast you can able to see when you are going to execute right use some five seconds of three uh, sleep thread then you can able to keep on go and check then you can able to understand how it is selecting on the okay this is all about how to select for drop down values okay that's all about this video if you like this video please like me please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to give some comments if you give the comment if you like yes like if you don't like then you can mention for don't like and if you make it that those things then i based upon that only i can able to give that good content of videos thank you